Hey, 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 good afternoon, good evening, good night, or good morning, depending on where in the world you guys are watching this show. We've got our convention hoodies on. In fact, one second, I'm going to have to lean out a set of one moment, because I did have a prop, which I've left over on the other side, but here we go. Wait, it, you didn't. You had it there, then I moved it to put that keyboard Ah, on. right, okay, there we go, look Yay. at that. It's almost here. It, it says, officially, on my countdown. What does it say? Five days to go it to does. the QCC 2022. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Five not, days. Wowzers. Five days to wow. go. Wow. If Crazy. only we didn't have ten days worth of work to do. Only ten. 
<laughs> only 10 i don't think so we've got a lot more than that but we'll get through it somehow thank you very much for joining us in the chat hello 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 um so um we've got a couple of things to go through tonight um we've got some of the teaser videos that our instructors have Ooh, been tease. yeah um the instructors have been doing for us for the q corner convention what they've done is um some of them have done some top tips so what we've done is we pulled um those videos out and we have share them top tips with you guys we i no doubt they'll be across facebook and all the other social medias uh as the days progress as well but we thought yeah. we'd share some of them here right first. now also um we are telling you about the competitions i That's see right. jason's in the chat there yes you know that he'll want to take in part a regular take part competitor in the there twist and competition um so we've got some information regarding that there is there's prizes Yes. There's dates, there's times. Can you remember the prizes now? I can, yes. Oh, that's, that's a bonus. Because <laughs> I, I, I got the dates. It's okay, because I could say anything I got the, now, guys. And um, I, I got the we, dates we, we and I got the quit. times. Yeah, and I've got the how and the wherefore. Wasn't but I there couldn't a remember speed the competition. Board? It wasn't the speedboat. No. Yeah. It wasn't the speedboat. How are you guys, anyway? That's it a feels, UK, I tell you what, it feels a UK like. UK TV show game reference, yes. that one. Yes. Um, Look it feels like one. it feels like it's been forever and a day since we've talked to you guys, but it's just because time's flying past so quickly. I better switch off. <laughs> we realised we didn't put anything there, on. That's to, uh... a standard process that I always do. Except for it this says time. you've done very well. I've got my standard goal has achieved. I'm sat down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like it's, I got my uh, exercise goal, but actually I right, was just we'll reaching for my cup of tea. And then we'll do that <laughs> because um, well, yeah. a certain number of people in the chat. Cheers, folks. That um, might decide to send messages. It's called revenge, Keith. That's yes. what that is. Revenge. Okay. Yeah, cheers indeed. Sweet revenge. Look at that. Wow, there's so many people in the chat there. It almost looks like a wall. <laughs> is that because <laughs> Kerry's in the chat? Hi, Kerry. Uh, Kerry Ferguson's in the chat, who is one of our on site instructors, is going to be part of our big build, and she will be doing uh, teaching the class on That's balloon That's what we're going to talk about as well. The hotel. On site, yes. in person build. Because there has been a lot of questions. Because on the schedule, <laughs> this, it is says from, hotel this is from build. the pioneer side and people side. Uh, I've been asking the question wrong. what's going on with the hotel build? <laughs> you said questions we got wrong. Yes, because there's not a lot of information regarding the hotel build. What's happening is um, the instructors that are coming up and one lucky delegate. Ooh. From um, Bapia. Thank you, Bapia, for sponsoring our lucky delegate who's coming up to work alongside our instructors. Little do um, they know they've got all of the work to do. Yes, Donna Higgins <laughs> from Northern Ireland. She's so excited. Congratulations. So excited, but, you know, there's a lot of work to do. Yes, everybody's everybody, all of the instructors have claimed you're already to be like, there in Flater and Tyre and team Builder and, and, <laughs> <laughs> and everything. I'm sure Donna's going to have an amazing time. One of the time. team. But yeah. I think we're going to get her involved in some of the uh, classes at yes. the studio as well. So one of the classes, um, like we were saying, is Kerry is going to be teaching balloon walls. And it's going to be lots of different techniques of building balloon walls. Yes. And um, it will be a live class. So be there for part of, uh, to be there to ask any questions or anything or challenge it's great <laughs> challenge. She, Kerry loves a good challenge she does yeah so go for it advanced for it. wall distortions I heard her talking about no <laughs> no Julie's going to be doing oh, advanced distortions right, yeah. she's a master yeah. of it <laughs> distorting the truth yes right okay why don't we run one of our teasers because we've got a few so yeah let's... don't run them in the order that I give you them because no, I no. give you them in alphabetical so I'll just give them in a random order I'm gonna, I'll have to move them though because I'll not remember who's I've done first who's I did second and who's I did ninth Oh, there we go. Right, there. That's that's great. That's in a random order now. Okay, Is so that good. Happy. Yes. So one of our instructors is a lady called Crystal, and um, she is. What what what's her class this time? Last time she was doing dresses. That's right. She's an I amazing twister. To, can I just bring up, uh, or unless you can do oh, it on I, the, I in the it. schedule, because we can also it. tell them when they're on as well. Yeah. So uh, right at the bottom, oh. day three. Oh, dear four, technically. Yeah, my, I'm on a PC, so my mouse has been reversed. <laughs> um, so, day three. Right near. Oh, I've just found her. Crystal Yee from Canada. It's going to be in, language, in English. She's also joining she's us live as well. Fast so we, birds. We do have a mixture of in-house here, pre-recorded and live. Now, Crystal is specifically live because she wants you to ask her 
questions. Yes, and it says that here, when a client requested an Eagle Balloons for a very busy event, Crystal knew it had to be a fast one. She came up with quick line work body style that can be adapted, adapted to different types of birds, and she can't wait to share them with you. Join Crystal for a live class and feel free to ask questions and challenge. Absolutely fantastic. How would you find out about that information, Keith, if you wanted to check that schedule out yourself? Um, the, well, there's the best website to go, and we found that you can't go wrong with Qualitex.com, but the, we've created an easy link for you guys to go to. Yes, so can. if you just do go QCC, means for Qualitex, uh, <laughs> for Q Corner Convention, <laughs> QCC.QCorner.TV. I'm going to say that again, because it's I a little would. bit confusing for certain people. <laughs> that is, yeah, me. QCC.QCorner.TV. If you put www at the front, so www.QCC.QCorner.TV. Go there. It will take you straight through um, to the Q Corner Convention 2022 information page. And there's loads of information on there, um, everything that you need, uh, including the class list and schedule. Uh uh, hello, Mr. Jack from Germany. Love your work still, buddy. Love your work. Um, who, so are we going to run that video? Oh, there we go. There you go. Just in case, at any point. Yes. <laughs> www.qcc.qcorner.tv. Correct. That's the one. There we go. So, yes. And then you can go on there. All the information's on there. And then you can check out the schedule. You can have a look and see in uh, in different time zones as well. And there is a website as well for time zone conversion. So if you're in a different um, time zone, you can use that yeah. um, and have a little look and see what's good for you because you want to get that in there. But the best thing that you can do is go and make sure that you are hitting that bell for notifications. Yeah, actually, the best thing you can do is join.qcorner.tv and become a Rockstar member because the Q Corner Convention is only available to Rockstar members. It is a very low price of only $4.99. Um, local currencies apply. And, uh, and if you hit yeah. the schedule and notification for the first one, so the first stream that's going out for yeah. session one, that will be the opening and each one will bounce you to the next stream it's, as well. Let's say it should. The, uh, we'll... <laughs> but there'll be a link. There yes. will be a link there for each one as well. Yes. So we'll keep you on the straight and narrow as we go through that convention. We'll get through this together just like we did the previous two. We so, will. Um, let us run the VT. Sounds for video tape. <laughs> video tape. That doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Crystal with Face of Balloons of Face Painting and Balloon Art, and I've got a few tips for you. Tip number one, if you're at loud events or you think you might be, I always put some earplugs in all of my kits just in case I'm right by a speaker and I want to keep my hearing. <laughs> number two, whenever I've got scrap pieces, uh, I don't throw them out if I can still use them. Sometimes you just need a little piece. So I separate mine into different colored bundles um, and carry those around like that so I don't have to worry about digging around for a certain color or a certain shade. They're always right there. And number three, whenever you're doing bubbles instead of twisting them individually like this that can do a number on your wrist so I go and start it and roll it up or down my body just depending on what what direction I'm twisting it in that moment and you'll be able to keep your wrists in better condition for longer hope you enjoyed those tips and I'll see you at Q convention Around the Ooh, clock. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Crystal. The uh, class was fantastic last year. Yeah, I mean, she does a lot of twist, and um, so if she and she really does need to protect those wrists when you're going with th through that many balloons. Yes, I um, mean, I've developed my balloon roller. Yeah, over yeah, years. over several years. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks for those fantastic tips. Also, the ones with the earplugs is a good idea, especially if you have Julie Curry coming up to see you so um we recommend one of those why are we doing this to ourselves i don't know they're going to come they're going to torture us um if they right. don't come through that door and just <laughs> thump us yes thump good old what we British need word. The, what we need to protect us is like a wall yes build a wall if only we had someone who could build us a wall so, um so are we going to go straight on to the next one Yes. Ah, no, we're gonna, you're going to talk about this guy, so I'm going to find that on there. In fact, if we run that, like that and, and then what I'll do that. in the background, you I'll that. find the information of when his class is. Here we go, Mr. Federico. 
My suggestion is to have a book of order. I mean a book like this with 200 sheets and any sheet have a form that you have to fill out with all the details of your order, especially about the client, um, if you get the order by email, by WhatsApp, by social, by phone, the description of the work, uh, obviously uh, all the costs and the final price. Um, the address where you are going to deliver, uh, any contact that you uh, need in the location. So it's really, really useful when you uh, mm, go to create the order or when you deliver. And one suggestion more is to fill it out in front of the client, um, asking lots of questions to the client and then to show the form to the client to review it with him. Remember, when you speak to your client, don't speak using words like bubble, foil, sides of your balloons, or any special idea or words or terms or sentences that you use with your colleague, professional colleague, I mean. Clients don't know what is helium sometimes. Uh, Clients don't know what is bubble. They don't need any idea about sizes or focal points. So don't speak in this way, but speak about general terms and general idea that normal people, I mean, not balloon artist people, um, know. So for example, don't speak about size, but uh, speak about big, small, large, something like this. Don't speak about bubble, but speak about round shape, a sphere. Don't speak about foil, but speak about aluminum uh, balloons, for example, because they know the aluminum for uh, the kitchen, for example. When you speak to your customer, remember to ask lots of questions. Questions about what he or she likes, what the mm, uh, mm, people who is going to be celebrated likes, but also about um, habits or uh, hobbies or something like this, just to understand what you can suggest uh, the customer uh, to create. And but also, you have to um, ask lots of questions about, for example, the location where they are going to celebrate, how many people are there, which kind of party, like. Uh, um, lunch, for example, or gala night, or something at the disco. Um, where where is the location? What is the location? If we can uh, know the location, so you can get lots of information. Uh, you can understand also not just technical ideas to suggest your best um, designs, but also the budget or your customer without asking about the budget. Great stuff from the fantastic Federico. Absolutely. Three bonus tips there for you. You should do number four. What was that? What to eat on a night out. In Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia. <laughs> uh, no, in, when you're in a hotel room. That we Carbonara. know not Carbonara. <laughs> um, so Federico is going to be in segment 33, which uh, if I have a look at the time scales on that, um, there it is there. Um, so it's going to be 10.15 um, p.m. UK time, um, which is 4.15 p.m. Oh, I can definitely US have a bowl of Carbonara while I, I sit and watch that. on there. Uh, so... And he will be doing. Where is it on here? Um, Fulfilled class, that one, Keith. It's fundamental elements, basic clusters represent the sea, sand, greenery, palm trees, different details and surfaces, such as artificial leaves or plush. Uh, so, so saying the final design, sorry, the final result is a design with captivating and surprising external appearance, useful as centerpieces in its own right, or as a base for a themed bouquet, or even as a delivery <laughs> element. There's sorry. tons there. M Miguel's in the chat saying no, no carbonara. carbonara. No, it's yeah, no, 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 no,
No. Now, if you are new to being a rock star as well and yes. signing up for that, Ooh. you can actually check out Federico's previous webinar with some fantastic designs. Yes, he amazing joined designs. us here in the studio before his nine day return trip back home <laughs> via New York, uh, via Milan, which uh, was what, crazy. What the lengths that man went to to get to <laughs> us was minimal, but the lengths to go home were monumental. Yes, yes. Um, it was quite unexpected. Um, but yeah, he came over and you can go back um, on, our, on our normal Q Corner Showtime lives. Uh, he was on the show for that that you can watch. He was. Standardly. Um, and if you are a Rockstar member, there is a, a webinar on there. A mm. phenomenal webinar, It yes. was great. It was really, really good. He did Sorry. an under the sea design um, with the sandy beach and things, which uh, that was my one of my favourite pieces was the organic style. Yeah. That lived beach. in the studio for longer than it should have done. It did. We really liked it. Yeah, absolutely. It was brilliant. <laughs> it was brilliant. We like a bit of decor. What can we say? Yeah, yeah. Um, it was it was a fantastic piece. Yes. Uh, so thank you very much, Freddie. Looking forward to your class. Um, it's always great, especially for retailers um, on there. And for those that are maybe balloon entertainers that are starting to take on a little bit more gift work, which yeah, is more and more popular really now. Really good crossovers there. Yeah, it's a great thing for Feddy. And some really good tips to decorate. Non -rounds. From, from, Use a lot of non-rounds. From that as well. Some good tips that can yeah. be pulled out. Um, Perfect. So I'm sure there'll be some golden nuggets in that segment. Yeah, we will be looking forward to them. Right, let's have another one. So let's have some top tips. I'm from Mexico. Here we go. Hola a todos, somos Alex Hernandez y Nelly Mildred. Hi everybody, we are ready to share with you three great tips for your business. Les vamos a dar tres tips para su negocio. First one. El número uno. Always save time. Use the best quality inflators, the best materials, the best quality balloons, the best tools, because it's the only way to save time. Siempre utiliza materiales que te hagan ahorrar tiempo. Tus herramientas, materiales y globos son muy importantes. Que utilices lo mejor porque el momento de estar cambiando materiales, globos, <laughs> ya se te reventó eso, va a ser la locura. Second tip. Tip número dos. Always smile. Probably in some of your decorations, something will be wrong. But no worry. Smile. Just stop. Breathe. One minute. And let's go. Let's go to solve. It's the best way to solve any problem. Keep calm, okay? And smile. Siempre sonríe. Es importante que tu actitud sea buena al momento de hacer una decoración, porque eso se va a transmitir a tu cliente y todo se va a salir de control. Así que sonríe, toma un minuto si es necesario, respira y vuelve para, ahora sí más tranquilo, seguir. Third tip. Tip número tres. Don't worry about other business, only care about your own. You need to grow your own business, put all your energy there. And this is the best way to grow because only you need to have the best clients for you. You don't need the clients for other business. You need your own. So take care of them. Make your best effort, use the best quality balloons, use the best tools and anything to make happy all your customers. No te preocupes por tu competencia. Enfócate mejor en tu negocio, en tu cliente, en dar calidad. No desperdicies energía en cosas negativas. Mejor opta por materiales de calidad, accesorios, globos y todo saldrá bien. Awesome. Thank you very much, Alex and Nelly. And their class will be taught in both English and Spanish. Um, so it's going to be How on. Actually, that? it's the one right after Federico. Um, so it's going to be on, um, if you're in the UK, it will be on Thursday, on October the 13th. If Correct. you're in Europe, it'll be on the Thursday. But if you're in the States, it will be the Wednesday. And if you're in Australia, it's in the Australia? future. <laughs> Australia? Yeah. Uh, Australia, it will be on Thursday at 10 a.m., yeah. When it's the early hours of the morning for the UK because it's midnight. So they can't do the competitions then because they're going to know the answers. <laughs> it's not fair. Not quite. But um, it says that Alex and Nelly, they're going to be working together step by step with Nelly and Alex. How to build the most cutest animals with balloons and create a lovely basket filled with these cuties. Always awesome. Learn how to guys. weave a cool basket. Add details to create your new top selling gift. 
made with blends. Like that, because that's I, what we're doing I here. Too. Creating. You got a message in there saying that uh, QCC 2022 is going to be awesome. It's going to be beyond awesome. That's right. It is. It's going to be beyond awesome um, because it's a it's a new style as well. Because the fact that we do have some live lessons, we do have pre-recorded lessons too. We have instructors from around the world uh, in different languages too, but all of them in the language of balloonish. Yes. And then we have a build going on. Live build. Uh, a live build that we're going to follow along with too. That's so, right. And each each yeah. part of that live build is going to be a segment that links to that build as well. So yes. uh, a part of that build we'll either be doing here in the studio or over on site, at, at the on hotel. site so we can show how that element's made we'll be doing a couple of sort of walk arounds of it as well and yeah. um, between some of the segments as well we might do some little um impromptu sort of lives back to the hotel to see how the guys are getting yes. on just to be a fleeting little look there mm -hmm. uh, to see what they're doing and um how they're getting on with the build it's going to be very different like they said it's um we the, the Q Corner convention 2021 was different from the one before. Yeah. Um, this one's going to be different again. And we tr keep trying to evolve to make it better for you guys. That's it. That's, That's what it's the about. the plan. That is what it's all about. Do we want to talk before going on to the next video? Yes. Let me find this. So we need... Yeah. Uh, so regarding uh, the competitions, um, we keep getting asked for the, the information. We do have two competitions that we're running this year. Um, those two competitions are one is going to be a 15 minutes twisting competition. It is. Um, and then the other one is going to be an hour long. One hour. One hour. Uh, um, table display. Whether it's a centerpiece, whether it's a buffet display, um, it doesn't matter. It's as long as it's a table display. Um, yeah. Now, there is information on that at the qcc.qcorner.tv um, website. Website. It's got the competitions there that tells you the day, the time, and the duration. Yes. Um, for the application for that, though, you do need to send us a little bit of information. Yes. Um, so the... we're going to put the link up on here. There we go. It's uh, www.apply.qcorner.tv. If you go there... It's the um, same link for both the competitions. Yes, you just choose. Yeah, there's, you and can, you can do both as well on the same one. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to take part in both of the competitions, just check the one you want to join. Yes. One, either, or both. Um, but don't do none, because then there's no point in doing the form. Well, uh, yes. So when you, if you're going to apply and you're going to take part, you need to be using Qualitex Balloons or North Star, and you've got to be um, able to join a Zoom call so that for the entire duration of the contest. The That's other right. thing, you need to be set up in a nice, well-lit area with uh, your video camera set up in landscape that's, that's sideways right. that's the same kind of way around that you're watching this screen right now yeah um so that we can see all of the builds yes on the application form just a few details name email yep. address and a messenger um type of app so either whatsapp or facebook messenger or messenger something like that yep. just so we can get in contact with you to send you the information to join the zoom call absolutely uh, at the end of the competition as well uh, we want you to take a photograph to send that um, and we'll give on that call we'll give you the information of where to send that at the end of the competition um and our judges which are going to be on our our, our there, they are going to be our on-site instructors that are going to be our That's judging right. team. Um, so you've got a large group of, of judges there that will pick the winners. And they, those details will be given out during the closing ceremonies on Thursday the 13th. Yes, of uh, the, the full October. details of the competition rules will uh, go on to the website. Yes. And we'll also announce it at the beginning of the convention as well, as in specifically yeah. what the details of the Twisted competition are going to be, um, and also what the details of the other Are we okay? Excuse me. Uh, yeah, so those details we'll announce a little closer to the time, but sign up. Secure your space. Yes, because Join we will in. be... We will be taking them in order. So if you sign up, it will do the... the, the um, first come, first serve. Exactly, first come, first now, serve. Now, there is... A cash prize, sort cash. of. Yeah, cash. Voucher, kind voucher. of. Yeah, so it's a voucher for Qualitex, North Star, Conwin Premium products. Yes. That you can um, claim back at your local Qualitex distributor. distributor. So what will happen is, basically, if you win, you tell us who your normal Qualitex distributor is, and we will make sure that there will be a voucher there um, for to buy some products with. Ooh. Can't say fairer than that. You can't. Not if you can't. So there'll be a prize for each one of those competitions. Yes. 
Um, and both, uh, yeah, I'd say both competitions, each one, both. Least two. I was bigging it up. I know, I know. Each it's one two. of those competitions, both competitions. Wow. Thank you. Both. Right. Them. Let's get into some more. Uh, right, so you can also apply now as well. That's yes. open now. So the apply.qconnor.tv I might apply. So is open. Win. No. I know the judges. <laughs> that means they've got yeah, no chance. No chance. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so yes, sign up for that now. Don't hesitate. Jason, we expect your entry in as soon as this show finishes. I think I've already had the... Uh, have already, I think we've had that already through. <laughs> You know, we already signed up on the twisting competition. We love it. We love it. We do. We love that enthusiasm. Yep. Right. Especially when our um, microphone switched on. Oh, you checked there. <laughs> I did. I did. I, had, I, I muted it for my coughing. Yes. And then did I unmute it? Who knows? Yes, he did. Here we uh, go. Right. Okay. So where are we going over this time? Mr. We're going Phineas Flash. back to Canada. Here we go. Oh, Canada. Oh, just as well. They, they, they made it. Well, hello, it's me, Phileas Flash, and here's three pieces of business advice for you. <laughs> so my first piece of advice is never change your name to Rupert Appleyard just before a pandemic starts. Everyone will forget who you were. No, that's, that's only advice to myself. Oh, my, my first piece of advice to you is be kind. Now, that might not sound like business advice, but actually it is. Uh, I think kindness in general is very underrated, and the more kind you are, the more people want to be around you generally. So that applies to business as well, because if you're kind to people in business, people want to work with you more. Uh, second piece of advice. Oh, yes. Don't compare your successes to other people's successes. It, it's really tempting in this world of social media to see someone else who's got a billions, millions, billions followers and subscribers and go, well, why can't I do that? Well, do you know something? You bring something unique and amazing to the world. So focus more on yourself if that's possible and, and don't worry what someone else is doing. You can always learn from their successes and apply them to your own business. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, yes, yes. A few years ago, I read this in a book and I really liked it. It was an inscription in a book I was I was working on for my fairy finding project. And it said, ideas don't work unless you do. Uh, and that's my final piece of advice for you. You can have all the bright ideas in the world, but if you don't apply the work and, and put the work in, then those ideas just stay like that ideas so uh implement your ideas and work hard on them and hopefully you will have a successful business and be able to buy a lovely gold braided vest just like mine there we go Yay. thanks Phileas. what i was going to say before i press play was that uh, the um our, our pens from the ladies <laughs> loosely Ladies in uh, Canada. Canada. The second batch made Alex it. And Ellie. They've been in quarantine because the first one she gave exploded. us. It exploded. And <laughs> I was covered everywhere. in this tar like black ink. Yes. But these ones have passed quarantine and now in use. So um, just going back to what Phileas said, don't change your name <laughs> from Phileas Flash to Rupert Appleyard just before a pandemic it's because a... people will forget who you are. It's true. It is very true. I, I don't know why I never thought of it myself. Um, just while that was on as well, we put some links in the chat. So there's the apply.qcorner.tv, the qcc.qcorner.tv. And if you are not a Rockstar member already and you're thinking about joining, go to join.qcorner.tv. Um... M uh, he's Mr. Trying to, Jack he's says, trying to read. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Jack says, uh, how about this, guys? I could give a class next year. Regards, Mr. Jack. Honestly, if you want to apply next year when the uh, when it's open again, we would love to see you apply. Um, At some point next year, there will be the application process, and we will be opening that's, that. Uh, up one second, that's assume, that's automatically assuming that we're doing another I one next just year. Wrote the check. I know <laughs> that you're going to have to cash. That's yes. That's anyway. how we roll. Mm. We never actually said how much the vouchers were for, by the way. That's right. So, um, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to move good swiftly money. on. Um, and it's good money, are we? Yeah. Okay. Let's move on <laughs> to the USA. That's right. I we... just realised we, we we've gone Canada heavy tonight because there's another Ooh, two Canada. from Canada. So I think you need to do Canada, then the US, then Canada. There's something so in you the, choose. There's something in the water. Well, I. 
Uh, the Canadians give good want, tips. That's what I, I said. But wrong not one. like money, but actually ideas. I don't want to get the wrong one. So which one? Go with Derek. Okay. Here he is. One second. This one's actually, uh, well, all of them are great, but I really like this one. Every time I see Derek, I just remember the outtakes of the saxophone player. Yes. And if you're a Q Corner Rockstar member, you should you know what I'm a, talking about. You, yeah, you can see them too because they're on there. Let's in, enjoy. Hi, this is Derek, Derek Wonk. Today, I would like to share with you three pro tips that helped me in my balloon career. Tip number one, attend a balloon event. A balloon event can be a balloon convention or a large balloon bill. The benefit of attending a balloon event is to be surrounded by like-minded people, and there's nothing more inspirational than that. And you can exchange knowledge and ideas with all kinds of balloon artists in the world. Tip number two, step out of your comfort zone and try something new. For example, if you are a balloon decorator, why not pick up balloon twisting? And vice versa, if you're a balloon twister, pick up uh, balloon decor. This way, you might be able to add something new to impress your client and explain your clientele. And since we're talking about stepping out of the comfort zone, that brings me to my third tip. Participate in a balloon competition. Being in a balloon competition allows you to activate the creative side of you and will really push your limit. Sometimes you might have new ideas that you would never put it in your day-to-day your day -day work. But in the balloon competition, you are allowed to express the best idea you have and showcasing what you can do. And I'm really sure you will enjoy it. And here you are, my free pro tips for you. Attend a balloon event, step outside of your comfort zone, and participate in a balloon competition. Thank you for watching, and I wish you have a nice day. Bye-bye. See, that was perfect, the fact that... Great stuff, Derek. Yeah, well, the thing is, as well as that, I wanted uh, I'll send Derek on that one because we just announced the competitions. And as he said, step out of your comfort zone, get involved in competitions. Yeah. Just have a go. Also, as well as an interesting fact is that... Um, yeah, I know what you were Yeah, saying. when we were in the US, we found out that actually Derek's first ever class that he took um, was with us in and, Canada. And despite uh, we that, he still went on yeah, to have I, a fantastic career. Yeah, um, <laughs> which was crazy, yeah, because it is. I mean, there's nothing like being in person, in the room with other people, like-minded people talking. The next best thing is being online in the chat room yeah. with those like-minded people. It's one of the, the, the driving factors for bringing... Um, the instructors here as well mm -hmm. and the fact that we can have that better conversation and also for the build team a bigger team it generates more activity and then bringing the delegate in this yes. time so they are your ambassador she doesn't know this yet but donna <laughs> is going to be the ambassador for every rock star out there she's going to ask the questions that you wanted to ask. Absolutely. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Right. We've got two more to go through. So we're going to go over to the USA. We are. With a fantastic Sarah Meyer. We love this lady almost as much as she loves red wine. Yeah. <laughs> let's um, no, that's not head true. on over. <laughs> In this class, we are going back to the 70s and focusing on groovy baby shower designs. When focusing on a theme, my first tip is to start with color. Often you can establish a really clear theme and a really great feeling just by using color. My second tip is to keep it simple when working within a theme. Often we go crazy and we order every foil or everything we can find related to that specific theme. But often all you need is a really simple embellishment. In this case, we're gonna be using daisies and flowers and peace signs just to add a little bit of that theme. You don't wanna go overboard. My last tip when working in a theme is sell what you already know how to make. Again, themes make us go insane because they're really exciting and we like to try new things and often our clients are sending us Pinterest board full of ideas. But 
when we start trying to make a bunch of new designs, things that we've never done before, that's where we lose time and money. So you can work right within a theme by doing the things you do every day, like columns, arches, centerpieces. You just have to know ways to tweak them so they look really customized even though they're not. So that is what we are going to be talking about, how to give your clients the biggest bang for their buck, stick within that theme, and utilize this really modern, um, vintage, retro theme in more ways than just baby showers. Great stuff. Sarah. Great stuff, Sarah. Uh, yeah, it's um, she is one of the most popular instructors that are there on the teaching at the moment um, in the world. She has a fantastic... Uh, podcast to the Bright Balloon podcast. It's a great way to have a, a structure for when you talk to clients. Mm. It keeps you on on the on, on that um, path for not going and spending too much time. Otherwise, if you're wayward with the conversation, yes. or you're backwards and forwards, you might miss something. If you let the customer direct that conversation, and then you you miss the fact that I know in some of one of our very early jobs, we had all this detail for a customer, all all the job in. I know which one. No colour. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. we, we clearly either just didn't discuss it or yeah. didn't write it down, but we didn't have a methodical way of going through, through the process. Yeah. yeah. So it's very important. You don't Absolutely. Miss out. So there's going to be some gems out there. Yes, we've got one more, and then I think we're going to leave you for this evening um, because... We've got uh, work to do. <laughs> we do. We've got a lot of work to do. Like Dom said before, we've got over 10 days of work to get done in this next five days. Um, so uh, yeah, so let's hand over to somebody that's also been um, already uh, has done webinars for us for the Q Corner members. He was one of our first in person, he was live, oh yeah, the first person yeah. in the studio yep. as a, a rock star instructor. Yes, and also um, did some stuff for our normal viewers as well, for our normal subscribers. So you can go back and you can watch. It's the uh, one and only, the very fantastic, the very charming um, Mr. Glenn Lavalli. I thought you were going to say his, his wife and... <laughs> <laughs> and Margo was, uh, yeah, Margo was the, the, definitely the better half. But Glenn is a decent second, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. she chose well. He's not a bad guy. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, my name is Glenn the Valley, and I've got some quick tips to share with my friends on Q Corner. The first one is, I use white electrician's tape to tape my fingers and my cuticles, my joints, when I'm going to be doing a bunch of repetitive work. I do it before I start, and it saves my hands from getting injured. Another quick tip is I use a crochet hook needle. You can see it's got a little hook on it when I'm tying a large balloon. So this is a three footer and normally I would tie my three footer, but then the neck stretches over my fingers and it, lock, it really is painful for me to tie it. So I use my little crochet hook and I just fit it underneath where the neck stretches and I actually use that little hook to pull and I can actually then um, quickly tie my balloon without hurting my finger. When I'm tying duplets, I do a quick double wrap and then I knot. I do a nice loose knot, not too tight but firm, so it's nice and snug in the spacing. But then if I want to untie it, I just pull up on the two uh, nozzle ends and I use a number, number three or number four knitting needle to just pull it up and I actually now have a little gap. I can slide my knitting needle in right in between so I can easily untie my duplets. I hope you found those tips helpful and I look forward to seeing you at the Cute Corner Convention. Bye for now. Thanks, Glenn. Awesome stuff. Yeah, I like the, the double wrap with a tie. It's something that we do quite often is that sometimes oh, you're tying now. them. Yeah, you're tying them and you've been doing the wrong sizes for a while or somebody's been doing the wrong sizes. Yeah. But you need to use those very precious balloons. So if you do the double wrap and then you can untie, we, we don't. We don't use the knitting needle so much, um, but if they are tighter, it does help. It's a great end. tip, though, for people who struggle to pull that apart, though. Again, it's just yeah. finding those different uh, tools to work. To work so that's I have to say, though, ladies from Pioneer Europe, under usage of the uh, Rockstar emojis this evening. Yes. Yeah, we've got Julie Dunham. We've got Kerry Ferguson. We've got Lucy Hennessy. 
Three, those three are actually coming up and they're going to be in the studio as part of the build team. That's right. Um, That's triple trouble right there. It is. It and is. they've not used any of the custom rock star emojis in the chat this evening. Ah, yes. Uh, so covering uh, different things is that Kerry, we've already said, is going to be doing walls. Lucy right. is going to be doing some ceiling decor. There's, uh, there's no heights to her imagination. <laughs> Well, actually, there is. That was that was a reach. And <laughs> um, Julie is going to be doing um, Advanced... fairy tale. No, no, <laughs> fairy tale inspired uh, bubble designs. So yes, yeah, absolutely. So it's yeah, Kerry, well done. Excited. Super the, exciting. The Q dog, well done. The, yes, the it is super exciting. You're um, up next, Lucy. Come on, TikTok. We, we can't wait for it to be here, but we just wish there was a few more days to get the work in before yeah, you know it what? gets. It'll work out. It, it will work out. It'll be fine. Julie got in there as well. We've got well done. Yeah, excellent. Well done. No pressure, Lucy. No pressure. We're not going off air until it's done. Yes. <laughs> you did. I mean, Julie put them in the wrong order, but it's fine. It's we'll. Um, I don't want to be that picky. <laughs> You know, next week. Um, <laughs> I'm losing my voice. You already. better not lose your voice. You're not allowed to get sick. You did it to me. No. Remember you, in Italy, Barchi? You, oh, yeah, oh, but I don't that, feel that, very well. This isn't, a, this isn't a convention. That was a convention. No. We're only doing three glasses, not 78 uh, hours. This is, okay. I'll, I'll accept that. I'll go take Just a look. saying. Yay, Lucy. Thanks, Lucy. Right. Um, and in the correct order I as think well. what we're going to do is... <laughs> That's the right order. It's not. It's bang out of order. <laughs> we're um, we're going to disappear. We're going to we say bye-bye for now. Thank you very much for joining us. Remember, if you want to be part of the competitions, get yourself over to www.apply.qcorner.tv. If you and want more information... All information. ...about the Q Corner convention, www.qcc.qcorner.tv. Dot TV. Well done, you. And lastly, <laughs> if you do want to sign up, become a Rockstar member, and this is especially more important if you're on an Apple device, yes. get yourself over to www.join.qcorner.tv because if you try to do it um, through the system on Apple, they yeah. want to do it through so iTunes don't, it, and you'll add on some Apple tax. Yeah, don't go through the app on an iOS device. Yeah. Do it through the website. Yes. If you can, for simplicity, just do it on a laptop or a desktop computer. You only have to do it once. Yeah, and then it's done for you. Um, but just once, and, once. And remember, it's four ninety nine, and that's for an entire month's access. It's also it's access to the convention that's coming up starting on Monday. It's also all the, back the entire back catalogue um, of all of the other webinars that so are. So there's seventy eight hours of the convention, and then there's uh, I don't even know how many hours. If you want to have a look at the extra webinars that are already available, get yourself over to www.rockstar.qcorner.tv. Has a full list of everything there. I think I got all of them right towards the end. At the end of the year. Warmed up. This Warmed one, up. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we're going to say no bye-bye for now. No hope. Um, we are going to, uh, yeah, we're going to say bye-bye for now. The next time you'll see us, um, we'll probably be doing uh, just a little more shout out um, just before the event, before we go live. That's right. And um, yeah. But if you're stuck, uh, just do a shout on social media. There's yeah. loads of people about that can point you in the right direction to get you signed up ready for next week all right thank you very much for watching and we'll see you guys soon see stay you safe Monday. and happy ballooning for now bye bye, -bye.